baby's a good boy. And mommy's a good mommy. Well, maybe not good, but good at being bad. So, who's gonna get you your medicine? Mommy is, that's right. And as soon as Uncle Todd gets here, we are gonna get you out of this terrible town. Uncle Todd is gonna help us because he has no choice. My son needs his medication. Heather doesn't care. What Sam, if he gets it's, sick? He's not gonna get that far. What are you talking? We don't even know where well, she's Heather taking him. Heather Charles. There's roadblocks going up. She has nowhere to go. We're gonna find her and we're gonna get your son back. I promise you. I just hate feeling so helpless. How long can my son go without his medication okay. for beta thalassemia? Hey, he'll be okay. All right, he's strong, he's healthy. And he looks like you, remember? No. Jason, I don't remember. I only got to hold my son for a few minutes. I don't... I don't even think I could picture his, his face. Oh. Will you be okay here for a minute? Where are you going? I just want to check on something. Wait till Uncle Todd shows up with all that lovely money. I'm going to buy you all kinds of cool stuff. I'll be much more generous than your real daddy, Jason Morgan, would be. If Todd ever shows up. He will. He has to. If he wants to keep Taya from finding out that she was never your real mommy. I think we got him. We got him where we want him, don't we? Yes, we do. Right where we want him. Yeah, I just got it. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna see if I can get an update on Heather. Okay. Any word on my son? Um... You know, Taya sent the PCPD a bunch of photos of the baby for ID purposes. Okay. And I just had Dante forward them to me. Oh, my God. Jason, he's so beautiful. No, wait a minute. That's, that's the wrong word. He's handsome. I mean, I don't... I don't know much about babies, but I would say he looks pretty big for his age. I wish I could hold him. You will. Oh. Where is Todd? How much time does it take to get a couple of passports and some cash together? I can do it in my sleep. It's like taking candy from a baby. Oops. Sorry, baby. No offense. Unless, oh dear. This would be a terrible time for Todd to grow a conscience. Oh, look yeah. at his cheeks. <laughs> They're so big and cute, and his legs, they've got these muscles in them. He looks strong. He is strong, just like his mom. I don't know why John said that he looked like me. He looks like you. Look at those eyes. He's got big blue eyes. He is my nephew. Look at the smile. His smile is so big. He looks healthy. He looks really healthy and happy. I think Taya, she took really good care of him. She must be in agony wondering where her son is. You need to concentrate on the good news. Your son has been loved, been happy his whole life. No, I know. I know that, and I'm grateful for that. I mean, none of this is Taya's fault. And I understand that it's going to be tough on Taya. Taya calls him Victor, right? Yeah. Jason, what is she going to do? She doesn't even know her son is gone, that he died the night that he was born. I mean, I know what that feels like, having to grieve and go through that kind of agony and no one should have to suffer like that. You know, Is Todd double-crossing mommy? What do you think? Do you think he'd be leading the police right to our door? Nah, he wouldn't do that. He knows if I go down, he goes down. He'll be here. It's just a matter of when. But we have to get you your medicine. 
So what are we gonna do? Go get it or wait for Uncle Todd? What do you say? Hmm. Thank you so much for finding the pictures. What am I saying thank you for figuring out that my son is alive? You can thank me when you're holding him. What if that doesn't happen, Jason? What if Heather makes me suffer yeah, and she does no, something hard, really bad? Okay, you gotta try to fight the fear. Don't give in to it. You need to stay focused. Your son is gonna need you. He's gonna need me, but Jason, he doesn't even know me. He thinks that Taya is his mother. No, Sam, you're his mother. What if the police don't find her? What, what, what if he goes Sam, missing Sam, forever? Stop. You know how this stuff works. Trying to outrun the cops on your own is hard enough, but with a baby, it's gonna be next to impossible. Somebody's gonna see Heather, they're gonna call it in, and this thing is gonna be over. Got some good news. Got a lead on Heather's location. Don't worry. Mama's gonna get you your medicine, sweetie. It's almost over, Sam. Pretty soon you're gonna have your son back. We are doing everything we can. What are they doing here? Apparently the commissioner and McBain are already on the scene. Wait, I, wa I want to go with you. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Even perfect mommies panic some time. But don't worry. I'll get you your medicine. Look, I, I think she should stay here. He's my son. You don't want to provoke Heather. She can hurt your son just to get back at you. You know, I'm going to take the stairs. I'll call you when I know something. Uh, I've had... I should have gone with Dante. Heather hates you. She wants to make you suffer. If she has your son and, and she comes face to face with you. You're right, Jason. I just, uh, I don't, I don't like waiting. I want to find my son. I will do anything to find him. What happened? Okay. Well, I got as far as the parking lot and got a call from the commissioner. Heather and the baby aren't at the motel, but the front desk clerk ID'd them and said their stuff is still in the room. Okay, well, that's good. That means they're coming back. Yeah, I'm going to do what we're waiting for. Psycho. You got an address on the place Heather's using? I do, but for reasons we've already discussed, I can't yeah, give that to you. Yeah, but I can maybe give you possible exit routes or places that she could hide. I can realize that, but Heather's not going to be using safe houses and getaway cars. Come on, don't underestimate Heather. I did, and I spent months without my son because of it. Detective Falconeri, yeah. can I have a word, please? Sure. What's up? I'm worried about your mother. Why? She had another hallucination while she was in the exam room. Is she OK? I thought she was until she told me she thought she was psychic. We should be so lucky. What if they missed Heather? What if she and my son are gone Heather because is of it? Out of places to run. They're going to be waiting at the hotel. They're going to get her there. They're going to pick her up on the road. Excuse me, Miss. Do you know if the elevator is out of order? I was waiting there forever, and I was. Well, well. If it isn't my old pal Olivia, how you doing, girlfriend? Still grooving to Lucy in the sky? Are you real? That was a premonition. I... I'm just here to pick up some medication for my son. Oh, God, the baby! Oh, no, you don't. Now you really are imagining things. You must still be tripping. Well, I'm going to send you someplace else this time. You're not going anywhere near that baby, psycho! Don't you touch my baby. Baby? You sold your baby, and Steve is never going to talk to you again. That baby is not yours. Don't listen to her, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see Olivia. Yeah. yeah. She was here. She was right here. Are you talking about Heather? Did you see her? Yes, she was up there. She pushed me. Go. She's in my baby. How'd you know? Jason, where is he? Where's my son? Heather had a baby with her. Oh, she oh, went up. Go. Up. Go. Oh. Uh. Okay. There's gotta be something out of here. Heather! Heather! Give me my son! There's gotta be something out of here. Heather! Heather! Give me my son! Sam, unfortunately, your son is no longer with us. Oh my god, Jason, it's for him. Look at him, look at my little boy. And they call me crazy. This is not your baby. It's over, Heather. 
You know what you did? She pushed me. She just got the baby up in the roof. Sam and Jason went after her. Go, let me go. No, no, I'm not going anywhere until someone takes a look at you. Now we need some help in here. Olivia got in the way as usual. I didn't really have much choice. I had I'm to push her down. Talking about Olivia, and you know it. I had a little boy, a beautiful, healthy little boy, and you switched him for a dead one. You made me think my son was dead. I spent months grieving for him. Please, just give me back my baby, please. Now I'm that's ready. more like it. You know why I'm always telling you to say please and thank you? It's never too early to start, you know. I will get on my hands and knees and beg. Please give me my son back. Nah, that won't be necessary. What's it gonna take? Anything, please. What do I want? Oh, so many things. It's, it's hard to know which thing I want most. What will it take for you to give us the baby? Listen to them, Binky. Because I will never let you go. You hear me? Never. Things will be a lot easier if you just give me the baby right now. What do you want me to do? Hand him over like he's a sack of potatoes? Uh, Stop. You okay. stay back. It's okay. It's fine. He's just to be so close and be touch him. He belongs with his mother. Then he's literally in the right hands. Because I'm your mama now. Right, sweetheart? And we're gonna be together forever. Yes, we are. Can you... What, what happens? Look, take care of her. Okay. Go on. Okay, don't, don't move. I need to make sure you didn't break uh, anything. What did I just say to you? I was right. Heather Weber's here. She's in the hospital. Oh, dear Lord. I tried to stop her, but she went up the stairs. With the baby? Yes. With that sweet little baby boy. Oh, no, just stay back. Don't give up. I should have taken this little one the first night I saw him. I mean, it would have made things so much easier. The child you're holding doesn't belong to you, Heather. There's no way off this roof. Only through that door. We're not letting you leave until you give us the baby. <laughs> you're forgetting one major detail. Mm. I'm the one holding this little bundle of joy. And possession is nine-tenths of the law. So why don't you just move aside and let us go? You would have to kill me first. There's a problem here, Heather. Gun down. You can't get a clean shot. You could at least pretend to be concerned about me, Jason. After all, we are just cousins. Oh, my condolences. It was very hurtful, officer. Are you still upset about that incident with your mother? If by incident, you mean when you threw her down the stairs just now? Yeah, I'm not too happy about that. But hey, at least it's time you didn't shoot her up. Now hand over the baby. You're so demanding. Hand over Sam's baby before someone gets hurt. You're the one who's busting through the door with your gun. You're frightening the baby. There you go. There you go, sweetheart. Everything's gonna be fine once I get rid of the mean policeman. Well, I'm not going anywhere, Heather. Really? You might want to rethink that and go. Before you force me to do something, I don't really want to. I don't understand. What is it that you don't want to do? Get rid of the officer. Or I'll show you. Choice. I'm not going to let anything happen to him. No police, no guns. Both will endanger this baby's life. Don't make me prove it. Tante, please just go home. That's the first smart thing you've said all night. What would you do if it was your child? You would do anything to keep him safe, right? That's all I'm trying to do. Go. Look, I can't talk Heather down. No one, no one can talk to her. She has our son. We're going to find a way. better. Isn't that better for everyone? Yeah, we did our part, Heather. Don't do yours and give us the baby, please. Sorry. No can do. He isn't yours, Heather. That's our son. Who are you trying to kid, Jason? You never even wanted him. Six months ago, you couldn't stand the thought of this baby. And why? Because he was your twins. Your better halves. Franco was the father. 
And you should have been thankful. Shut up. But no. You thought he'd grow up to be crazy or something. <laughs> no. Franco wasn't crazy. He was a genius. Shut up! He got the talent, he got the brains, and he got your wife. That's enough! You know, this united front act of yours, it's very transparent, by the way. I know that your marriage isn't a shambles. And why? Because of you. Your pride. This baby deserves more than a broken home. He deserves more than you as his father. You're wrong. I want him. Since when? I want him! I want my son. John? I love Sam, and I want my son back. Well, that's a convenient change of heart. I was wrong to turn my back on him. No, are you, are you hearing me? I, I made a mistake. It's a little late for that, no, don't you? No, it's not. You'll never be able to forget he's Franco's. I don't care. Of course you do. You hate Franco. You're jealous of him. And you'll never be able to love his son. He's my son! And it only matters that he's here now. Sam and I want him. You know what they say. People make plans and God laughs. Heather, please, he's our baby. Please don't keep us apart. Like you kept me from Stephen Lars. You made me think my son was dead. Isn't that revenge enough? This isn't about revenge. Then what? Come on, why won't you let me have my baby? Because you don't love him. Thing about me. I love my son more than life itself. Is that why you left him to die? I didn't... We didn't leave him. Outside? In a storm? You stole him. What were you doing out there in the woods anyway? Couldn't you be bothered to get to a hospital? I tried. Instead, you gave birth to him in a seedy motel room <laughs> with no regard for your child's There was there. nothing I could do. You wanted him to die. What did you just say? You heard me. You want someone to blame for what happened that night? I'm right here. Blame me. I'm a better parent than the two of you put together. That's, that's what you want. More than anything, right? To have a child who loves you, to be a mother. If you let me, I can help make that happen. This isn't about my son, Heather. It's about yours. I mean, you want, you want Stephen Lars in your life. You want the chance to be his mother. Who took away that chance? I did. I did. It was all my fault, and I will make it up to you. I will go in there right now and smooth things over. I promise. I will tell them that everything you did, all the mistakes you made, you did it because you love them. I don't believe it. He already said it was too late. No. No, it's never too late. Give me my baby, and I'll give you Steve. Stephen Lars. Stephen Lars. Why would he listen to you? Why should I believe you? He will, I promise. I will make him listen to me. He will forgive you. You can start over. All you have to do is give me my baby. Heather Weber, this is Anna Bay, Police Commissioner. The hospital is surrounded. There is no way out. If you cooperate and surrender the baby immediately, we can work out some form of lenience. There's no other option, Heather. You need to give up the baby now. You heard the commissioner. There's nothing left to do except give us the baby. This isn't how it was supposed to be. You were supposed to be my mom by now. I will talk to Anna myself. I'll make sure she goes easy on you and she keeps her promise. We just have to get you back to the hotel. That's all. There'll be someone there to meet us with money and passports. And we'll get you someplace safe. It's not gonna happen now, Heather. The only way you're gonna leave is with the police escort. Heather, please. Please, let me have my baby. Please, Heather. 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 There's not a choice here. You're right. It's over. If I can't have this baby, oh. no one can. No! Please, God, no! Don't hurt him now! 
on the next General Hospital. There's a crazy woman on the roof with a baby. Are you serious? Oh, what do you mean she's not upstairs? She fell from the roof. What? Where's my son, Jason? He's ripped her with her. Does she have my son? Please, Heather, please, just let me have my son. I'll do whatever I can for you. Just give me my baby, please. Heather. Come on, there's not a choice. You're right. It's over. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, we got a bit of a situation on the roof. Heather Weber. What? Heather's up there? Yeah, with Jason and Sam and their baby. What? I have to go up no, there, Todd. There's nothing you can do. I need to be with my son. He needs me, not these strangers. Hey. Please, I'm his mother. Please, I'm his mother, Todd. Please. If I can't have him, then no one can. Oh. 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 Please, God, no! No! Jason, did you get him? Do you have my son? Oh, he's ripped away. Does she have my son? Does she? Does she? Does she? Does she? Does she? The baby's not here. My son. Where's my son, Jason? He's right here. He's okay? I'm sorry we scared you. It's over now, you're safe. Are you sure? Are you sure he's not he's, hurt? He's perfect. Yeah. Except for one thing. He wants his mom. We need to find out what happened on that roof. Oh, my baby's okay. Thank God, my baby's okay. My baby's okay. I will question Matt and you. Go get the child. Wait, John! Wait, where are you going? I want to go with you, John! John! You and I have unfinished business. Do you hear me? Don't you dare die on me. I need to be with my you son. Why won't you let me go? Can I get a little help here, please? Either one of you go for the roof. Do you understand me? Yes, I understand. Who the hell are you to tell me I can't see my son? Get off of me! How about this? How about for just as once, we just let McBain do his job? Listen, listen to me. Victor is not with Heather, which means he's up on that roof with people he doesn't know. He's hey, probably terrified. I can't let you go up onto that roof. I'm sure the kid's fine. No, I, but what if he's not? What if he's hurt or worse? I, I need to see him. I need You're to hold going him. Up. Why? Why won't you let me see him? Let me know what happens. Let's just focus on the, on the positive, okay? The, the kid's up there. Uh, I'm sure they're taking really good care of him. He needs to be with no, his mother, look, Todd. Even I follow the rules every once in a while. Look, it's chaos around here. Everything's completely out of control. You really want to be the people that makes things worse? I want to see my that, son. That, that, I want. I want to see my son. I want to see my son. Your son is alive. Heather is not going to hurt him. Where is she? Listen to me. Listen, listen. No, she, she took a bad fall, but she's still breathing, okay? You just need to let them handle it. No, no, no. Listen to me. What do we got? Let's get in on Connie. They're gonna patch you up. You just have to stay still. And don't try to talk. You're gonna have to stay. Baby. Is the baby okay? Okay, here we go. You're doing great. I'll leave you, Steve and Lars. I'll be with you in the ER. And after? The best thing you can do is let's go home, okay? Let's go. Watch it. Watch the door. Patrick, Patrick, you need to talk to you. Will she live? And more specifically, will she be fit to stand trial? I, will know I need to know. I will let you know. So, I, I think it's a good idea for you. <clears throat> you know, circling over your statement. 
in your head because the cops are going to ask you for a statement, and I think you should just tell them that Heather came to you and that you gave her a job. And I, don't I don't want to talk or should... think about my statement right now. I want to see my son. Okay, uh, but you're always telling... You, when you were my lawyer, you said you can't rush these things, right? You can't rush the system. Isn't that what you say what all the time? What the hell are you talking about? My kid was kidnapped. I want to see him. And you will, okay, one step at a time, right? Yeah, the smoother you make this for all the bureaucrats, the smoother it'll go. I mean, you just need to go over things in your head. I, I got a great idea. Why don't you pretend that you're your own client? Manny, I need to talk no, to no, you. I, I can't. Right I now. She should not be alone. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Now listen to me. I don't know what role you had in all of this, but I know you had one, and when I find out what it is, you will answer for it. Don't leave town. Got it? Okay. Don't go. Prep for spinal trauma. We're gonna need portable scans and five units of old neck. Okay, on three. One, okay. two, three. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna need an IV, full blood panel, a C spine. Let's get an x ray stat. It's okay, Mom. You're gonna be okay. I'm right here. All right, see you then. You're willing to work. Yeah. Suction. Do their work. Stay out of there. Hi, how are you doing? All right. Sorry, obviously this is a bad time, but I wonder if you could just answer a few questions I've for me. Told you no, I know, but there might be just something that we missed, mm -hmm. and I, I just want to talk to you while it's still fresh in your mind. Uh, it's fresh. This might actually help your mother, Steve. You know, it, it, it could. If there's some detail that could reduce her culpability and all okay, of this... Okay, wait, then... hold on, Anne. Uh, can you just stay here for a mm -hmm. minute? Can I talk to you? Wait, no, I know this is a... What, are you talking about reducing Heather's culpability? What? I just want to get the facts straight. The fact is, it? Heather is evil. And yes, she may be insane, but that doesn't mean the two of them cancel each other out. She sold my brother when he was a baby. A and now she's making him pay for it his entire life. And she's making him take responsibility for, for her walking out of front of Well, I happen to believe that she had an accomplice. That's what I think. Well, she didn't. Not tonight. She was going to kill a child, Anna. She was going to hold that baby in her arms and jump off the roof of this building. Yeah, I know. I, I, there should be no forgiveness for it. For, to, to drag my brother okay. through this? All right. I know. I'm sorry. Look, if she survives... I give you my word that I will do whatever it takes to make sure she is locked away for the rest of her life. But I honestly don't believe that her accomplice should be allowed to walk away free. Uh, so I just want to talk to Steve. I promise I will be sensitive, okay? I'll be fast. I'm guessing Elizabeth tried to persuade you to wait on the interrogation. Clearly, it didn't work. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Listen, all I want to do is talk to you about your last encounter with your mother. That's it. You mean when she knocked me out cold? Yeah. Did she mention to you the night of the storm last spring? It was when Miss Delgado and Miss Morgan, they, they both delivered their no. babies to... Okay. Has she ever talked to you about her association with Todd Manning or somebody helping sorry, her after she escaped? Sorry. But I do understand that this... No, is I'm not sure you do. Yes, Heather is a kidnapper and a murderer and God knows what else. But that doesn't change the fact that she gave birth to me. And now she's in there, maybe paralyzed, maybe dying. Steve, how is she? <sighs> Heather's alive. We were able to stabilize her, but she's not out of the woods yet. Internal bleeding. Mm -hmm. Damaged to her vertebrae. Which vertebrae? Uh, we're waiting for the CT. We're going to get her down to the OR. Once we see what we're dealing with, I'll figure out how to repair it. Have you thought about Dr. Drake? She's awake. Okay. C can I see her? Yes, but be quick. I'm coming with you. They're holding OR2 and CT is expecting us. Okay, great. I'm going to have to uh, call a couple specialists. You can stay out here. Just 
Keep an eye on her. Yeah, I'll give the family some room. Sabrina, good work, okay? Really, great job. Thanks. Hey, so McBain got a preliminary statement from Jason. I guess he got the baby out of Heather's arms right before she went over the edge. All right, how is the baby? Is he okay? Seemed fine. I didn't get a good look because Sam was holding on to him pretty tight. Don't blame her. Yeah. I'm going to get an official statement after they've been checked out by the doctors, but uh, everything Jason said seems to match up with what we saw on the security camera, so I don't think we're going to have a problem. Mm. It's clear Heather was going to jump off that roof and take that little baby with her. Yeah. So Jason did what he could in the situation. I don't want him harassed over this. He saved the baby's life, so take his statement. File it and then be done with it. Okay, excuse me. Hey, how is your mother? Hang in there. Oh, and way more verbal than I imagined. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, how's okay. the baby? Mm -hmm. Uh, the baby's fine. Uh, Jason and Sam have him right now. They're getting checked out. Still alive? Afraid not. I think it's time you and I had a little chat. About Todd Manning. All right, from the top, you tell me everything about you and Todd Manning. Why don't you tell me about Robert instead? Robin is off the table as a topic of conversation. I want to talk about Todd Manning. You and Robin, you didn't have a good reunion. There was no reunion. Robin is dead. Oh, yeah, I followed up on your little lead. And you know where it took me? Of course, you know where it took me. A clinic in Switzerland to a shell of a woman who resembled Robin enough to stab me through the heart when I realized it wasn't her. Does that make you happy? You must have lost the trail. You are a liar. Not lying. It's her. Robin. Scorpio. Drake. This is love. This her. Don't you dare say Robin's name ever again. But if don't it's true, say it. John. I'm so sorry. You okay? So tired of your lies and manipulations. From now on, we're gonna do all of this on my rules, okay? Nod your head. Yeah, I am done messing around. Me too. Great. Remember the last time we had a little conversation? Yeah. You know, when I questioned you after you shot Luke. He threatened to kill me. Well, I'm gonna up my game. I'm gonna let you live. Oh, what passes for it. I am gonna see to it that you are consigned to a hellhole, a hundred times worse than Ferncliff, for the rest of your miserable life. Please don't. Oh, don't. Why? You'll never breathe fresh air again, feel the sun on your skin, or see your precious Stephen Lars again. I'm gonna offer you a deal. All right, one time only, take it or leave it. But you gotta promise me that you're not gonna say Robin Scorpio's name again. Just promise me that. You don't understand. No, I'm not finished. You are gonna confess to your connection between you and Todd Manning. You're gonna say the words, Heather, that you didn't act alone when you switched those babies, just like you didn't act alone when you locked Luke in that shed. You had an accomplice, Todd Manning. Say it. 